Good afternoon. I would love to. Now you got home and got got to take a chance to, or got a chance to take a second look at the game. Just what what stood out? Maybe that, that you didn't notice on first viewing. Yeah, I I really liked the overall effort. It was a complete effort, and that everybody contributed, and and uh, you know the both sides of the ball and special teams played together well, and and the complimentary football was obvious. And uh, Mike kicking the ball, backing him up all day long, and and. Uh, um, we were efficient enough to, to, to play a good, solid football game. So, and again, I, like I said before last night, I think uh, because of the respect we have for that club, you know, it, this was a really good, solid win. Jackie? Hey, Coach. After watching Russ's film, what did you think of him in particular with the four touchdowns and zero interceptions? No, he played terrific. Yeah, he he, he, he only missed a couple things that he could have done differently. and, and uh, um, was very efficient. It was a, an, an excellent first game. Michael Sean Dugar. Hey Pete, what's the latest on the guys in the concussion protocol? Um, it's going to take you know a couple of days to get it done. Uh, they're not the same. They're in individual cases, and we'll treat them of course individually. Um, but there's a time frame sequence that they have to follow through to, to make it back. So. Um, Nothing to nothing to make a prediction about right now. Other than you know, we'll see what happens all the way to Wednesday, and that, that's when it kind of starts the thing back towards them their return. Curtis. Uh, yeah, I'll kind of jump off what Mike was following up there. I, what, what's your kind of outlook on Rashad Penny's status and how he's coming going to handle the calf situation, and what does that do for you guys here in the short term? Yeah, he's got a calf strain, and uh, so we'll, it'll take us a bit to figure out, you know, what the return would be on that. Um, he ran really well when he ran the other night, so we're going we're to miss him. It look, looks like this week, you know, we won't know. Um, we'll let you know how that goes. But um, it would, it would, you know, Alex is ready to go, and uh, both Homer and and uh, DJ have done, you know, they're, they're ready to go too. So we're we're in good shape. We had we had uh, four running backs up this week, so. Um, we're in pretty good shape at the position. Unfortunately, if it takes them a couple weeks, then we'll figure out how to handle that. Art. You did. Don't tell him. Don't don't tell ah. him. <laughs> I'm just testing you. Yeah. First week. Uh, the efficiency numbers for Russell speak for themselves, but upon film review, what did you see about the whole pass offense that worked better than last year? Well, I don't know that that's, that's I wouldn't jump to conclusions about what better than last year. I just think we were we were sharp first time out. Um, a lot of guys contributed um, and there's a lot more there, you know, so uh, I you know, it was a really efficient, good, good first ball game. I uh, had a couple protection issues that we just missed out on that we could have easily changed uh, the outcome of, and other than that, it was really almost flawless. So um, it was a very, you know, very good start. But I, I don't, I don't know about comparing it to anything in the past. Maz Vito. Hey Pete, mm-hmm. Trey Flowers and DJ Reed both played uh, all 76 snaps, uh, defensive snaps. Just what did you see after watching the film from both of those? The guys played really, really tough and uh, tackled well. Um, we kept the ball underneath us all, all, all day, so that they had to make some plays. I think DJ might have had five, five tackles in the game or something. Uh, Trey had a couple of really good hits, challenging their coverage. Um, we held, we really minimized their errors. We played very solid. We had one, one play that, that got away from us on the big crossing route that we made a mistake on. But other than that. Um, they played really solid football, and they, they seemed to fit well with, with how we did things, and, and uh, I liked how aggressive they were able to be. Bob Condota, Seattle Times. Uh, how, did, uh, how did you feel like, especially up front, you guys had 10 quarterback hits and three sacks. Did anything really stand out to you up front about what the guys were doing up there? Yeah, the variety of guys that contributed, you know, it was, it was really um, spread across the board. Everybody had something to, to, to contribute. Um, I think it was it was interesting when Alton came in late. You know, he had a he had a nice contribution late too, and and uh, he just didn't get a chance to play many plays, just because of the rotations. But um, 
everybody looked good. And, and Daryl particularly, uh, you know, I think he played 25 plays or somewhere right in there. Um, you know, he was very active and, and really an exciting addition. As we've been talking about, we were hoping and it kind of showed up on game day. And again, they have a good offensive line too, you know, and, and they remember they only allowed 21 sacks all last season. So that's a, a really good group that they're playing with. And, and so um, it was a good effort across the board. And really this, the rotation, we were not settled on how to do it yet because we had everybody contribute some. Jen? Warner, what did you learn about mixing and matching Ugo and, and Marquise? It, is that the way that you would like it to look as the season goes on? Um, we're just going to keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to keep going with, uh, you know, with the rotation at this point. Um, I felt, and I think Marquise did too, that it was good to get back out there. You know, it was a little bit new, more new to him than maybe he, he would have anticipated. Um, remember, since last second game of the year he's played 17 snaps going you know going into this time so he he's still still just getting going and uh so he's going to play a lot better and a lot more i think comfortable i think he was a little maybe a little bit on edge just trying to do things exactly right and wasn't quite as as uh cutting loose as he as he will be um Ugo did a really nice job again, uh, really added to the looks and the disguises and all that kind of stuff. And th these guys are playing, they're, they're, they're challenging each other. And it's, it's a really, it's what competition does, you know, and these guys are going to give us really good play. So we'll see. I, I, I can't call it yet. Nico. Hey there, Coach. Nico hey. Terrain just turned over at Como. Um, you're looking ahead a little bit here. Uh, I know you had him there in the preseason, but first regular season game coming up with the 12 is back. I mean, that's got to be so exciting for you guys. What is that feeling like ahead of this week. Yeah, no, I don't mind looking looking forward to that. You know, uh, it's it's I'm 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 kind of interested to see you know how how loose they they let it go. You know, <laughs> they kind of just go crazy, uh, or, or how they're going to be. I, I don't know. I would expect it. Everybody's going to be really excited to be part of it. Um, fortunately, you know, we we played pretty good in the opener, and and that helps. And last time out, you know, they saw us there, it looked pretty good. Um, you know, we take the responsibility. We've got to play well for the fans to be really crazy and, and at their best. Um, but we're we're going to count on them now. You know, we're excited to get get in front of them. Uh, I think it's great for the whole area that we're that we're back and and uh, hopefully it's a really good event. It's a really good team we're playing again too. So uh, we're going to need everything we can get, and, and we're certainly going to need what the 12s bring. Tim, Pete, how are you using Rasheed? Green differently maybe this year than you had in, in previous years and and how much of what he showed during preseason you saw show up yesterday yeah no he carried over everything he has done in camp in preseason uh, he played a lot in the preseason uh, we were introducing him to a new you know kind of a new role and we wanted to see how he took to it and he was he was always really excited about it you know, we played him more on the edge and more outside and, and allowed him to, some more freedom uh, to use his athleticism and we weren't sure how he would adapt to that you know he's been more of a traditional five technique and and you know inside a lot on his pass rushes um, but because he does run really well and he's you know big long kid and and and, uh, and, and plays with really good juice we thought maybe it would it would fit him and so it has and so uh, at this point and so we're really excited I mean, he was all over the place and that's just what he did in preseason too so it's exactly the same guy and uh, you know that doesn't always it doesn't always translate like that, and so in this case, to, to start us off, he, he got off to a great one, and, and uh, we're really pumped up about that. Greg Bell, Tacoma News Tribune. Coach, you mentioned yesterday that the cornerbacks in the secondary cut off some of their pass routes down the field. Can you elaborate on what exactly they did? What what worked there? That was good for that. Yeah, we did a nice job on the on the intermediate and deep end uh, things so that the ball had to get dumped off. The backs caught a lot of balls in this game. If you you know you look at those numbers, um, we we kept the stats down. Um, really, we had one one kind of a remarkably bad play, and other than that, uh, um, you know, we really forced the football to get thrown down underneath us so we could run and break on the ball and and, and do our hitting and all. And I, th I thought you saw some really good plays by Bobby and and uh, Jordan. Um, driving back up on stuff underneath the corners did a nice job too in reaction and all of that worked out real well. And how's Alton Robinson health wise? Um, I think he's fine. I don't know anything. Okay. No. Hey Greg, did you know they they spelled your name with two G's at the end? Oh my mother did. Oh, 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 oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey 
Yankees did. Uh, they only had the one explosive run in the fourth quarter. They averaged 3.8 yards a carry. What goes into playing good defense, run defense, particularly when you're a nickel so much? Well, I, I mean, I, I'd like to comment on, on the fact that I thought the running game on both sides of the ball was really good for us. Um, and again, I go back to you know, they they had only allowed three seven or something a rush for the whole season last year, and, and we got off to 140 and, and over five yards of carry. That that was a that was a good accomplishment for us. And, and on the other side of it, they were a really good running team too last year. Um, you know, Jonathan had had a big year, tons of yards after after contact, and and uh, so we had a lot of respect for them, and 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 had to you know try to keep them in check, which we I felt like we did. You know, they picked up some yards late in the game when they ran the ball, and we were just kind of just running the clock and, and all that. So I, I thought all in all, uh, we did a really nice job of corralling them. We could have tackled a little bit better. We missed some tackles and, and, and bounced off some stuff because he's a really good runner. That's why he gets yards after after contact. But what it, what it takes, John, it takes discipline. It's really, it's discipline. The the, the game is really measured in, in terms of the run about how you play in terms of relative spacing, the spacing between the you know the, the blocks and the defenders. And it, that's where the discipline has needs to take place. You have to play the scheme teams properly and play in coordination with the guy next to you and behind you. And it just takes the real strict uh, approach. It's not just all blood and guts and hard, you know, hard nosed stuff. It's it's really about the technical side of it and, and, and playing the scheme well. And we, we did that pretty well. And, uh, you know, we if last year we were, we were a pretty good run team too. And, and so it's a good start for us. Um, and whether you're playing base or nickel, you know, um, you know, you got to use it all. And, and uh, we still have to fit our guys in. The DB's got to work with the, with the line and the linebackers, and, and all of that is what it calls for. Probably Adam, way you, more than you wanted. Adam? Dave's talking in his uh, password voice today, and the password is... Oh, sorry. Adam, you're muted. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, just, let's just join in on this. When somebody's not talking because they're muted that we don't tell them, okay? Just let them just go and go and go. <laughs> I'm just curious about the results around that NFC West yesterday and obviously Arizona, Tennessee in particular. Uh, yeah, the, um, the, the division just came out roaring. And uh, um, a lot of points scored, a lot of big plays, um, a lot of exceptional play. Um, I got a chance to catch the highlights uh, from the other teams, you know, flying home last night, and there was just one big play after another. And, and uh, so, you know, what, what do you expect? It's, it's, it's arguably one of the toughest divisions in in, in the league, and, and uh, there's no doubt in it, you know. And so, uh, from the start, it's just going to make us have to be better. That's that's what th this this means. And, and uh, but uh, pretty heralded opening. Heralded Curtis opening. Yeah, Pete, is, is that the best game Brian Winnie has had for you? It seems like he's come a long way, too, to where he's able to put together a performance like that and really kind of command the, the line of scrimmage. Yeah, like I, I think it stood out the most. He had he had the most special plays for, I think, in, in one game. You know, the hits on the quarterback in particular. The line of scrimmage is really good. He's always good there. But he had he, he had a, a good day getting in the backfield, you know, on the QB. And, uh, and remarkably well... Uh, executed hits on the quarterback where he didn't get penalized because he you know he had a couple big shots and uh, he did it really well and did it exactly the way you need to and and uh, for the opportunity so that was you know it takes a lot away from it when you when you pound the guy in the dirt and then they, they throw a flag on you and he did not let that happen so he played a really good ball game and he continues to be a big force that you know we love playing with the big guys and uh, he's a factor Tim uh, Pete, a little off topic, but just because of your connection to, to SC, I'm wondering if you have any thoughts or reaction to their decision to part with Clay Helton today. Yeah, um, you know, really disappointed for you know for that re regime because that affects a lot of people. You know, it's not just one guy; it's the whole staff gets affected and all of that, and you know the the following and the fans and the families that were counting on their kids playing for the, that. All, all, all that's it's a very difficult decision to make, and and they made it, and and. Uh, um, they, they're making the decision for what they feel is the right reasons. You know, they're trying to keep the program moving forward and, and all that. I know I, I got I got beat by Stanford a couple times too. It's uh, it's hard, you know. And, and uh, like John McKay always said, by far the toughest matchup we ever had was with was with Stanford. And and uh, 
and uh, so it carries a lot of weight. So unfortunately, uh, they had to make a change. Clay's a good, good man, a good ball coach, and, and uh, he'll bounce, bounce right back. But um, it's a tough decision for the Trojan family on, the, on this day. Bob Condota, Seattle Times. Uh, yeah, to, uh, uh, any update on Ethan Posick? And then I was wondering how you thought Tyler Mabry played and just sort of how the tight end group in general kind of went yesterday. Um, yeah, I haven't heard the, the results of the testing for, on Ethan yet, um, but he, he got a, a sprained knee, and uh, we'll, we'll have to wait and see how, how serious it is. Um, tight ends did really well yesterday. Uh, Tyler got a chance to get in there and do some you know, some stuff, had a couple spot plays in there, and uh, back us up and, and came through just fine. It's a good position group for us, you know, and with Colby Parkinson on the mend and coming back here before too long, it's really a good spot. Gerald made his plays. He, he'll he make more. I thought uh, Will Disley had a really good game uh, at the line of scrimmage as well as a couple big plays and uh, did some big thumping with, running with the football, which was fun to see. And uh, so it's a, it's a nice position group for us. Last question, Greg Bell, Tacoma News Tribune. Uh-oh. Number two. You don't want the SC job, right, Pete? Is that what you're saying? No, they haven't. They haven't called the break, and so I. No, I don't want that. I'm. I'm very happy. Uh, I've noticed that all the players are standing during the national anthem now. Do you now is that a collection of individual decisions, or did the team talk about that? And then, what do you think about the unit or the league-wide simultaneous anthem yesterday? Um. Yeah, we, we allow our guys the freedom to, to make the choice as they w want to um, in this case. And so uh, you know, that, that's what you're seeing. Um, I thought I thought that it was well done, um, you know, the, the collective anthem. I, I thought that was a, a nice touch and and it connected us all. And when at a, at a time, it's an important statement to make. And, and I th everybody to the person would, I'm sure, back up, the, you know, the thought that we all wanted to stand for uh, for all the, the the great loss and all of that took place there, um, so I, I thought it was particularly good. I'm glad they did it the way they did it. Okay, thank you. See you.